Welcome to Bible 180, Nahum. Nahum prophesies judgment against the Neo-Assyrian Empire in its capital of Nineveh. Assyria would be defeated by the Babylonians in 612 BCE. The Assyrian Empire was the largest empire the world had yet seen up until this point. For instance, it was they who were responsible for Aramaic being the common language spoken even through Jesus' day in the entire region. Uh, they are also among the most violent people in recorded history. These are the guys who invented crucifixion and perfected the effective and disruptive and cruel practice of deportation and exile of basically whole people groups. They are roundly condemned for their bloodlust for power and riches and their abuse of the innocent. Honestly, you would not feel bad for them if you'd experienced some of their cruelty. The Lord will show no mercy to those who have shown absolutely zero mercy to others. While he had had compassion on Nineveh earlier through Jonah, the Lord's compassion is not to be confused with softness. The Lord is no pushover, nor does he forget about injustice. He waits for people to repent and change, but he will not wait forever. On the other hand, the Lord is a refuge for those who trust in him, which is exactly why he has to do something about Assyria. There, they will not stop their evil until they are physically stopped. God is not intimidated by how powerful they are or how many victories or allies they have. All their fortresses and strongholds will be like overripe fruit, which when the Lord shakes the tree, Assyria will be emptied. Their army will be defeated and they will wail and they will be plundered much as they had plundered others. When Assyria is attacked by the Babylonians, no other nation will come to their aid. Rather, they will cheer its demise. Echoing Isaiah, Nahum says, look for the feet of those who bring the good news of peace. The good news in this case means the defeat of the enemies of God's people, never to rise again and bother them. The Lord scoffs, where now are the mighty lions who devoured and ruled the land? They've been killed and the land is now free from their attacks. When God rescues his people from their oppressors, that is indeed good news. When evil is no longer allowed to rule the land or abuse the people, that's good news. God sees and does not approve of wicked nations or corrupt dictators who treat others as if they were subhuman. Ultimately, God brought about justice through his victory at the cross. There, Jesus was not merely the victim, he was also the aggressor. The Lord was on the attack, destroying not just partially, but completely the sway that death held over the living. He was releasing the prisoners from the pit and disarming the powers of the evil one. God desires to show mercy, yet in his might, he will defeat those who are hell bent on opposing his holy people or his plan of salvation. No power in heaven or on earth will stop him from rescuing his people.